it. Whenever you're ready, J Town. Hey, what's up, guys? AJ with the Indiana Lacrosse Channel here. I'm here with Coach Addy, and she's going to teach us how to cradle. All right, guys. So, cradling 101. Ball needs to be in your stick. That's the first thing. You don't want to grip your stick and give yourself white knuckles, all right? If you're holding your stick too tight, the ball is going to come right out, all right? That is not how you cradle. Ugh. But it is one of the biggest mistakes that we see, all right? You want nice, loose hands on your stick, okay? You're going to bring it up to about here, and you're coming all the way across your body, just like that. You want to kind of think about your fingers. You've got your stick in your fingertips, all right? You can bring them around, and you're wrapping it into your hand, just like that. Notice how my whole arm is moving, okay? It's not just my hands, and I'm not keeping my stick in the center of my body. My whole stick comes across my body, all right? This is our first most basic cradle. As we speed that up, it's going to become a little bit uh, smaller. It's a smaller motion, all right? But it, I'm still wrapping the ball all the way around, okay? I'm not keeping my stick in one plane. I'm not gripping my stick too tightly. It's still moving nice and loose in my hands, just like that. All right, as we go from there, we're gonna add a run to that. It's pretty nice, you can keep it right in here. All right, you're still wrapping the ball, it's still moving around just like this. You get comfortable with that in your arms and it just fits right into the way that you would move your arms when you run. So, one of the best ways to get good at cradling is to practice. I know you've heard this all the time, is that practice makes perfect, but you guys, it's true. The only way to get good at this is to keep practicing. You can sit around and just hold your stick just like this and keep practicing that cradle, all right? This is the best way to get good at it. Make sure you're also switching hands. You should be able to do this with both hands, you guys. That's so important. The best way to practice this is not in a drill at practice. It's not during a game, but it's at home. If you don't get comfortable with this motion, when you are at home, when you're by yourself, you are going to struggle so much with practice, all right? You're gonna struggle so much on the field. So make sure you're practicing this motion. All right guys, that's how to cradle in the girls game. If you guys have any questions for Coach Addy, put them in the comments section down below. Uh, make sure you like, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe. Coach Addy's definitely gonna do it. Thank you, Coach, for coming out and teaching us how to cradle. I'm AJ with the Indiana Lacrosse Channel. My goal is to grow the sport of lacrosse in, in Indiana. I can't do it without your help. So until next time, see you in the next video. This is, this is YouTube. Yeah. I'm a YouTuber. You're going to have to edit this a lot.